So let's get into this tea. Girl, I'm a little sick. Just bear with me. We about to get into all the parts of Diamond Girl. She is in her feelings right now because she done got beat up by Tesseki. And she asked for it. You know, what you asked for, you shall receive. Let's get it. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, Diamond of Body, aka DTB hat, aka the Sturbities, because you know that's what I do. So, um, I want to make this video today because, you know, I just wanted to kind of give some more insight <laughs> about, like, how I'm feeling about the situation, about, you know, just everything in general, <coughs> and, uh, I figured that, sorry, they be getting a little dry sometimes, uh, I wanted to make a video and kind of just talk about just everything in general so i want to start off with um i am not upset about the results of this reunion you know i'm not upset about the fight with the Siki. i don't regret it i'm not I don't take it back. I don't take it back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I knew she was going to win the fight, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not retarded. <laughs> like, I knew she was going to win. But. Not the way you asked for that ass whooping. Ain't no way. The point was, you know, for for your entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Like, I knew you guys wanted to see her fight. I knew the world wanted to see her fight. And nobody wanted to fight her. And, you know, just being, doing my job, being a reality TV star, entertainer, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I took it upon myself, you know? I, I mean, uh, some people know, some people don't. Like I said, she started with me. You know what I'm saying? I could have ignored it. But at that time, like, keyword should have, friend, you should have ignored it. Okay, this is this is good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's where my mind went. I'm like, oh, this is good. You know what I'm saying? Arguing with Ziki, she's fucking famous. Like, that's good marketing for me. It's good promotion for me. So, you know, a lot of things I've done on reality TV is not from a place of malice or just like I'm okay sorry guys uh I'm not upset at, at the results I'm not upset at the outcome what I'm upset about is the lack of compassion that uh people had for me, not even just people, like my castmates. Now, when she, for those that don't know, I watch baddies. I react to it on my Patreon. <clears throat> the link will be in the pinned comment. The way I sat there and watched her fight, um, <clears throat> what's that girl name? Not Nunu, the other girl. Nunu's friend on, on the show. The other replacement. I watched Kiva. I watched them girls jump her. Um, you know, she jump in, jumped in and fought her, snuck her. It's all kind of crazy shit. And that she didn't have no remorse, no compassion. <clears throat> so what kind of compassion did she actually expect? I mean, what kind of compassion do any of y'all expect coming from these um, situations? I don't understand. Or, you know, just Zeus in general. The lack of compassion they have for me after this was done to me. You get what I'm saying? So it's not the fact that it happened. You know, fights happen. At the end of the day, you can't determine what's going to happen in a fight. You know what I'm saying? Somebody might got a black eye. Somebody might. You know, like, shit happens. It's a fight. But the lack of concern the lack of sympathy lack of empathy after the situation after i had to leave the set and go to the hospital after my tooth got knocked out 
the lack of emotion was like it was mind blowing because I'm like like I'm hurt for real you get what I'm saying like there's a difference between reality TV and real life like reality TV is not real like they think it's real because it's called reality but it's not real guys this is real like me leaving and going to the hospital was real I, and I can't from- believe she playing victim on us like this, y'all. I, I'm, I, I don't feel bad. I don't. Uh, for any of y'all that feel some type of way that I don't, bro, you don't call out, even for clout, you don't call out a person that you know going to take your head off. Also, you don't talk about <coughs> her nephew I mean you know that she hasn't even met things like that like a lot going on with her and Krishan you know what I'm saying and whether y'all like it or not it's still a gray area there because that's still her sister they're still sisters they're gonna have to deal with each other one day you know what I'm saying but they can run from it all they want right now like you know you know you know what I'm saying I went to the hospital. They tried to put me back on the stage. They're like, uh, I, I, we need you, you know, we need you back on the set. I'm like, I'm, I can't go on the set. I need to go to the hospital. My mouth is cut. Like, my mouth is cut. Oh, my tooth is missing. What do you mean go back on the set? This is real, guys. Like, how do y'all not have a meter between real like real life and reality tv like there is a difference you get what i'm saying and in real life like i'm a good person you get what i'm saying like i am a good person in real life so for people to be saying like i deserve certain things you get what i'm saying like oh you deserve this or you got like and i'm just like bro this shit is not real like, why can't y'all understand that none of this is real for me? It's It may not be real for you, but it's real for everybody else. TV. You get what I'm saying? Natalie, it really hurt me when you, like, you're the CEO of this company, of this network. You get what I'm saying? You're the boss. You are the person that runs everything. And you claim you care about your people. And you you know what I'm saying? Like, the point when your castmate had to leave the set and head to a hospital. At that point, there's... Y'all, did she not learn from Smiley? Girl, we watched Smiley Caesar, uh, Caesar, have a seizure, uh, convulse. I mean, she was just, it was a lot going on right there. There was a lot going on right there. <clears throat> like, come on, bro. Should have been a switch. Like, oh, shit, is she okay? You get what I'm saying? It should have been a switch. Like, did somebody check on Diamond? Like, is she okay? Like, this is not just, this not reality TV no more. This is real. You get what I'm saying? Somebody check on her. Even with Tzatziki, it's like, after you did it, you get what I'm saying? I get it. We're we're entertaining the people. This is what they wanted. This is what, you know what I'm saying? This is, it's, it's fake. We don't have no beef for real. We don't, like, at least on my end, I don't hate you. So after you did what you did and then for you to even want to continue fighting me and then even for you to go online after the situation, after seeing my face, after seeing that picture and laughing and joking about it, it's like, that really let me know that y'all don't have no soul. Y'all don't have, like, y'all... Diamond, you don't either. You just... You just gain your soul back a little bit because you got your ass beat. You didn't have a soul with everybody else, okay? Kiva, new, new. The ones that y'all was just randomly fighting, jumping, and shouting disgusting shit. Bro, stop. Y'all are really a different type of human beings. Y'all don't have no empathy. Like, y'all are not good people. 
like a good person, a good hearted person would have seen my face and the first thing that would have came to their mind is, is she okay? Is she okay? Let's laugh about it after, but let me check on her first because something is like, that's, she's in the hospital. She's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a good hearted person and I understand the difference between reality TV and reality. There is a difference. The shit that we do and we put on for you guys is a show. Nobody here has real beef. We don't really hate each other. We don't, besides from the people that had known each other before coming on the show, besides the taking a beat ball, you know what I'm saying? That's real because they really know each other in real life. Everybody here that just came here, we don't know each other. We don't have no real reason to hate each other and beef with each other. We're doing this for entertainment purposes. We're arguing with each other and making up shit to entertain y'all. So, again, like I said, the person that I am, the real, real, real person that I am, not the TV person, not the character that I play, the real person, this this is the real, this is me, this is my real life, this is off TV. And the fact that y'all cannot distinguish the two really just lets me know that y'all are not good people. And it also let me know that you cannot be a good person and do reality TV. It, 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 you can't you cannot do both because let me just give you an example right for some of y'all that watch me on other shows deja vu season one i had a fight with a girl she got a black eye she wanted to keep fighting and i told her no i'm like no babe i don't want to fight you y'all make fun of me when i call her my babe and when i'm like i don't i don't my heart is too good. When I seen her, I, I didn't want to continue fighting. And then after she attacked me again, I still didn't hit her. I said I could be hitting you, but I'm not. Because the person that I am, the real person, not the reality TV character, the real person that I am, felt genuinely bad. I did not want to continue hurting her. Not for TV, not for an entertainment. Because at this point, this is a, this is different. I that that switch switched, and I said, okay, this is not reality TV no more. This is real. You get what I'm saying? And if y'all don't have that switch, that that shows that y'all are not genuinely good people. Hey guys, what's up? Girl, she put me to sleep. I would never. I would have never asked for that ass whooping, y'all. I ain't even gonna cap you down. For some people, they just deserve a whole lot of leave alone, deserve a whole lot of, mm, I, I'm gonna sit this one out, Deser deserve a whole lot of, I know I'm gonna lose, deserve a whole lot of like, nah, I'm straight. <laughs> like, I wouldn't wanna fight Tesseki on account of she liked to do it. Now. Liking to do it and having to protect yourself is just two different things. Like, most people just need to protect themselves. So you're like, oh, shit, bitch, I, I can show you these hands if you need me to. You know what I'm saying? Win, uh, win lose, or draw. But you're going to feel me. I, I've always stood. You're going to feel me regardless. But just to fight somebody because she loved to do it, I mean, can't wait to do it. Couldn't sleep the night before to do it. Nah, I'm straight. I'm straight. You 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 believe in this too much for me. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> okay, so like I said, when I did that to her eye and I looked at her face and I Facts seen don't. it swelling up and I immediately was like, No, I'm not fighting you no more. And that's because I am a good person in real life. Not for T V in real life. There's a difference between reality TV and real life. So for, you know, y'all not to have like just a natural, genuine compassion, genuine, like, oh my God, is she okay? Like, are you all right? 
Like, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Like, for y'all not to have that reaction, for y'all to have a reaction of, ha <laughs> Yeah, she deserved it. <laughs> that that's what bothered me it wasn't what happened to me that's not a lack of compassion i feel like in your situation because you asked for it for real like if this is a whole thing like the whole real life thing right whether you trolling or it's real life or it's just for tv you knew not to call her out you knew you didn't have those hands you knew that come on now to me that bothered me. I didn't cry because it happened. Because shit happens in a fight. I cried because of the reaction from my castmates. The lack of reaction from my castmates. And then, with that being said... I... I, I started to, you know, I started thinking, like, you know, that's crazy. Like, y'all really hate me. <laughs> like, y'all really hate me in real life. Like, I thought we just not liked each other on TV world. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't hate y'all in real life. I don't have no problem with y'all in real life. So... When y'all did this, to, you know what I'm saying, when after it happened and everybody's laughing and joking and putting teeth on fucking, you know, playing with my tooth. Like, my tooth that's ripped out the root out of the socket. Like, y'all really hate me. And then I'm starting to think, like, why would y'all hate me? I'm such a good fucking person. I'm such a nice person. I'm such this a is crazy. Person. Like, you know, everybody loves me. Like, the people that know me love me. She's confused. But y'all really hate me. And then I start to think, like, y'all don't hate me. Y'all hate the character that I play. Y'all hate my character. And she I shouldn't have wrote it either. That I put on for reality TV. The person that I am on reality TV is not the person I am in real life. Like, for example, Natalie. Natalie knew that I didn't have no beef for her for real. And I'm sorry, guys. I'm just going to tell it all because I just have to. I have to tell my truth. I was never going to fight Natalie. I never had no intentions on fighting Natalie. I caught... I called Sapphire and told Sapphire to let Natalie know that I was never going to touch her. And I respect her, that she's the boss, and that, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I have a job to do. This is, you know, it's reality TV. So things are looking, you know, a certain way, and I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to call it out. I'm going to, you know, rah, rah, but let her know that I'm not planning to fight her let her know that i don't have no real issue with her in real life let her know if i see her in a club i'm not about to like she don't gotta run like let her know that and she said it before she went and posted it in comments and said like oh sapphire or you call sapphire and tell her that you want to fake beef with me yes because yes i do want to fake beef with you because i don't want real beef with you because i don't i don't i don't i don't hate you well, why do you want fake beef? Like, I, all right, I understand reality TV, reality TV. Don't, don't get it fucked up. But I'm just saying, like, everybody ain't doing the fake beef thing. Everybody's not doing that. Don't hate you. But I do have a job to do. You know what I'm saying? This is entertainment. I'm she want to keep, keep her pay up man, and shit. To try to entertain the people. Me liking you is not entertaining. You know what I'm saying? And I, me, I thought you of all people. Here's my problem. You want to make sure you have a position when the season, hold on, y'all, take my medicine. When the season is over with, right, you want to continue to have a job. <clears throat> However, you did all of that to now come on here and basically snitch on the, um, the program 
Like basically saying everything is fake, which I, I hope all y'all know, but like, it's the kettle for me. I be hating the kettle, y'all, because you like, y'all so, y'all so, y'all demons and all this other shit. But you just as bad. It's just, it ain't fun when the cat got the gun. You know what I'm saying? For real. People being on TV for 15 years would have understood that and say, you know what? Yeah, fuck it. Let, you know what I'm saying? Like, do your shit. You feel me? This is what the people want to see. This is why people watch our show for drama and beef and fights. So, if, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to... Diamond, so if you get it, we get it too. At, do it. You know what I'm saying? Or she could have said, Diamond, leave me the fuck out of it. Honestly, like, I don't want to go that route with you. I like you. You know, you're cool. Like, let's let's not go that route. And I would say, you know what, Now, like, Okay, I respect it. Even when she comments, she's like, oh, she calls Chef D and tells Chef D that she's sorry and she wants to apologize to me. Yes, I don't want no problem with you in real life, Natalie. I don't. And you know that. And you knew that. And so that's why I'm trying to figure out why even after I'm real life, I'm hurt in real life, I'm in the hospital in real life. How are you not separating the two and saying, you know what? I'm not going to lie, y'all. Diamond was not built for this shit at all. <laughs> y'all. Anna Max face. I, I don't even like quote me, but like dislocated, fractured. How have you put, how do you fracture a motherfucker's face? Okay. Now, I tell you, every time I be watching this shit, boy, couldn't be me. I'm not about that life. I'm not. I don't feel like it. I am the type that I will really go to war behind whatever the fuck I believe in. If I feel like it, I'm taking all consequences. And I already know if I get my ass beat, boy, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? If, if whatever, if I lose, if I get shot, whatever, like... You put yourself in those situations, you know. That's on you. I just don't understand this. Like, this was not for her. And it's even worse because nobody's going to feel bad for her. Damn. At all. Let me check on Diamond. You know, she's not. Okay. I don't hate her. She's not terrible. You and know Natalie, they don't even her. understand how far gone Natalie is. Baby, she is no longer on this earth. No longer on this earth. You hear me? Girl, Natalie went from making probably 15000 a season, okay? <clears throat> to $15,000 every hour or something. The, girl, the woman is up, okay? Baby, she has no remorse, no soul, no nothing. The way she talked to uh, Smiley, oh my God, don't get me wrong, Smiley is a piece of work. Oh shit. We gotta take that ride, huh? Um, yeah, Smiley is a piece of work, a true piece of work, but I mean, golly. And they were saying she was faking, and to be honest, probably was because how how she act now, definitely probably was faking. But I don't know, y'all. As a cast member, but she's hurt. Like something happened, she got hurt. She got seriously injured. Let me check on her. And then she told me after, fuck it. But let me check on her first. Let me see if she's okay. Let me just make sure she ain't fucking break her fucking jaw or you know some, nothing's infected or like the fact that none of these thoughts came to your mind as a person that really let me know that y'all y'all not good people bro this is a message from just so you guys you know I always have my receipts but this is before the reunion. Hmm. 
or the day of the reunion as we were sitting uh my bad y'all I be muting the mic so y'all don't hear the echo while, you know, the sound is on. But what I was saying was, Zeus TV got the worst security company in the world. All that fake-ass security. And when they be fighting, do y'all ever hear them count? All right, one, two, three, four, five. Pull off, pull off. And then they secure who they want to secure. Everybody don't get secured. I would never work for that company ever in my life. I FaceTime Chef D. Like I told Chef D, look, you know, it's the reunion. Like, let me show you the message. This is from Chef D. I said, "We making up today." Tell her. You get what I'm saying? Like, we're making up today. Like, tell her. This is what I text him because I, I didn't want to fight her. I didn't want to argue with her. Hey, I hope you're okay. Seriously. Yes. She knows that I don't have no real problem with her in real life. Even he checked up on me. Hey, I hope you're okay. Seriously. Cause that's somebody I know in real life. That's a person that knows me in real life and knows the person that I am in real life. It actually loves me in real life and knows that I'm a good person in real life. So he decided to check on me and that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying nobody got to come to the hospital and hold my fucking hand, but a simple text message. Hey, are you okay? Seriously? This is, this is a, a, a good person. You understand what I'm saying? This is, let me, let me give y'all a prime example. Natalie been able to fight everybody. Guess who she hasn't fought? Krishan. Eugenia. Okay. Krishan and Tiseki. I watched Natalie get glass thrown at her. Cups. Uh, she was looking at them two hyenas ready to bite her ass. Hell no, uh-uh. Nope, nope. Be ready to fight everybody else but the Malone. <laughs> Which lets me know, <clears throat> Natalie made a player decision as an adult. You not about to drag me across the television. Not on Beyonce's internet, you not. Not today. Uh-uh. She said, Krishan, I'll never fight you. Tiseki, I'll never fight you. You know what she immediately did? Became cool with Tesseki. Tesseki respect them because they changed her motherfucking life. All right? So Tesseki already, she, she gives me loyal, so she already got a debt that she got to pay to them, I feel like. She feels like. So Tesseki don't even want to go there with her. She will, but she don't want to. I just want you to be my boss, give me my bread, and, and, and I'm going to do me. You know what I'm saying? Diamond! You should have did that. You know what I'm saying? You, she should have did that. Come on, now. Choose your battles, ladies. Somebody that has a heart, that has compassion, that understands the difference between reality TV and reality. I don't think loyal is the right word to describe that woman. All right. Loyal is the right word to describe her in that situation. When it comes to her boss and her being a worker, she's loyal. Period. The rest of it, I ain't got nothing to do with. However, she always speaks about her boss. I don't like to hear boss. I, I've never been a fan of it. The CEO of YouTube ain't my boss. 
Tesseki gives me, she would say that. Like, you know, I, I had to speak to the boss today, YouTube. YouTube ain't my boss. Lemmy would not be my boss. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, in that way, she's loyal. Now, I can't speak for everything else. Natalie doesn't understand the difference, apparently. I thought she was a better person, but clearly she's not. Clearly, this is the type of person that she is naturally, and that's why she's so good with reality TV, because she's not playing a character. This is her. Hello. And she's been doing it for 20 plus years. She's 40. <laughs> that chin been chinning for some years now. Decades and shit. Girl, what? She don't care what you talking about? Come on now. This is her. This is her. Holding my tooth up in a fucking video after it got knocked out of my face while I'm sitting in the hospital for fucking five, six hours because of a show that I was trying to help you get more ratings. I was trying to help you get Go build your audience. Okay. I was trying to make your reunion more Must. entertaining. Ah. I'm doing this for you and telling you that I don't want no beef with you, telling you that No, you were doing it for a check. Natalie doesn't need a um storyline. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, y'all wanna know what Natalie's storyline is though today? I know that may have sound contradictive, but follow me. Her um uh her storyline today is we about to have a meeting. Everybody going to talk it out. And hopefully everybody can come to their senses. Boom, they start the meeting. Everybody get to fighting. All hell broke loose. I just knew that they would be able to talk. But all hell broke loose. Then, as they get to fighting, Natalie like, We got to go to the club. We got... Bitch, we got to go to the... Stop. All right? <laughs> Y'all fucking up my coin. We got to go to the club. Okay? Now, all y'all bitches better act like y'all like each other while we at this club. Okay? Girl, that's it. Wake up in the morning, have a vape and uh, a mimosa. Okay? Asking everybody how they feel about what happened last night. Girl, that's the storyline. She didn't need to beef with you. That's it. I just gave you her whole position on the show. Hey, we're going to make up today. I had a whole fucking speech and everything. Silly, you know silly saying? girl. So she knows that. And for her to still not even have a simple moment to say, damn, Diamond, are you okay? Before you go on the internet and try to Diamond go make lay. fun of my physical, physical, like real life trauma. You get what I'm saying? Girl, she's sick. Okay. Reality TV is not real, guys. It's not. And I know that a lot of people think it's real because it's called reality, but it's not. The things that we do on these shows... We would never do in real life. Well, some people. I don't know about everybody else. But this is this is what I'm trying to say. Me, personally, it's not Rajan real. Rajon was whooping ass in real life. That's why she got lawsuits, friend. That's why she just had went to jail and stuff. She was, uh, yeah, she was doing it for real. Mm -hmm. And people got enough sense to leave Taseki alone because they don't have time to be fighting men and shit. She need to be fighting niggas. They don't feel like fighting a man for that day. All right. Only you. Was stupid enough to try that. Girl. For me. When I get on the camera, I, 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 I get in character. Okay? That's not the real me. I don't, I, I don't do these things in real life. <coughs> yes. It's not real for me. Because I'm a good person in real life. And I, the person that I am in real life, the things that I've done on <coughs> these shows, I wouldn't have been able to do if I was just being me. Like, the real me. Like, me going on a, a hilltop and, and smacking five, three girls back to back. 
I would never do that in real life. I don't care that much. Like, I don't care if you're friends with her. I'm not fighting nobody because they're friends with the next person. Absolutely not. But guess what? This is TV. <laughs> this is TV. We're doing this for entertainment purposes. I do what I do to entertain the fans, for the people. Like, none of this shit is real to me, bro. None of this shit is real to me. This is another message. Just so y'all can see what I'm talking about. A lot of people are going to be upset because they're going to be like, damn, Diamond, I thought you was, uh, 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 I'm sorry, but I'm just, I need y'all to understand clearly why I'm making this. Look at this. what that say? Nunu, right? Let's do our biggest one today. We will make up later. That was <laughs> the day of the reunion. I was at the reunion. I texted her at. Me and Nuno didn't have no beef. All that shit, we was going back and forth on the internet. I called her. Nunu didn't text you back, friend. Am I tripping? We was going back and forth on the internet. I called. All that shit, we me and Nuno didn't have no beef. All that. Me and Nuno. Day of the reunion. I was at the reunion. I texted her at. Me and Nuno didn't have no beef. All that shit, we was going back and forth on the internet. I called her. You busy? This is what I call desperate, y'all. <clears throat> Need to talk to you. Okay, give me a sec. As soon as I get off the phone, I'll let you know. Okay. Yo. You. You by yourself. Yeah. FaceTime. FaceTime me. Whatever that said. Okay. I need to talk to you. Okay, give me a second. Okay, yo. Then I asked her, you by yourself? Yes, FaceTime me. Because I didn't want her to, you know, I didn't want to text too much because I'm like, okay, people like to screenshot text messages. Uh, I didn't want to, you know, call on the phone on her FaceTime, make sure nobody was around her. I told her straight up, let's be. Like, this, us being cool and making up after the show, that don't help you. You know what I'm saying? It don't help me. It looks better at us arguing. You argue with Anna. We fall on the show. Let's argue in. Re let's argue on the internet. You get what I'm saying? I told her, yeah, look, we don't got no beef. We ain't got to, you know what I'm saying? But let's keep it entertaining. Let's keep it going. Like, let's give the people what they want. Let's give people something to talk about. Because us being cool is not, it don't, it don't help. It don't help. It's not entertaining. Nobody cares if we're friends, if we made up. You know what I'm saying? But this is real life right here. This is the real me because the person that I am in real life, I don't have no hate in my heart for nobody. Especially not these people. I don't hate none of these people. I have no problem with Nunu. I have no problem with Kiva. I have no problem with Taseki. I have no problem with Natalie, Broly, Scotty, nobody. I don't know these people. Anything that you've ever heard me say out of my mouth about any of these people, yes, yeah, some of it might be real. And I do be calling out real shit. And I do be saying real shit. But that I, I do that for entertainment purposes. <clears throat> I don't do that because I hate these people. I don't do that because these, oh, I fucking hate that bitch. Like, I don't have no hate in my heart for none of these people. It's called entertainment. It's called reality tv it's not real guys it's not real for me <clears throat> at least and like i said because the person that i am the good person that i am don't want to really argue with these people now some people that are really messy people there are some people that are really you know certain type of people and that's why they thrive in reality tv because they not they don't have to act they don't have to text people like hey let's fake beef like they, they do it for real because <laughs> they don't give a fuck i'm not that person i care i don't want to fight when i fought nunu and kiva we spoke literally that same night in the club and i said to both of them listen guys i have no problem with y'all I did what I had to do, you know what I'm saying, it was a moment, the show was getting a little boring, you know what I'm saying, like, I had to step up, and I had to do what I had to do, so don't take it no type of personal way, we cool, and you can ask Kiva, and you can ask Nunu, I told both of them that that same night, because I didn't want them to think that I don't like them. No, I'm going to let you know right now, they ain't going to admit that shit right now. And if you've list been listening to the cast members this whole season, they've all been telling you the same thing. Even Dia. Dia went on, oh, Diamond, 
she's fake, she's doing everything for clout, she even apologized to me behind the scenes, off to the camera, yes, I did, because when I went up there on that hilltop and I <laughs> smacked you, I didn't, I didn't do that, that wasn't the real me, that was TV me, that was character me, so when we got off the camera, I wanted to express my sorry, like, I didn't mean to, like, I don't, ain't it, no way you could be on this show, beat people up and feel bad. The whole point was to actually, like, this is. It bothers me to do these things, but I understand that this is for TV. And I have to because this is what y'all want to see. I do everything I do to entertain the people. Shiny knows one-on-one. Bianca, I apologize to her. I apologize to her the same day. I didn't want to do that. I didn't, like, that didn't make me happy. I don't like hurting people. I don't like Friend. violence i don't come like on it. now god damn you never belonged on this show ever this is not you stick to pull uh not nah. stick to only fans negativity i don't like drama my real look life this is how i feel after i get into a fight or whatever <laughs> yes my nose is shiny i'm sick after i get into a fight or whatever i'll be feeling bad as hell Mm -mm. That's another reason why I don't like to fight people. I my heart posture is different. Okay, I don't like to um, hurt people' feelings or whatever, girl. And especially if if what you did to me was light and I just lost my shit. You know what I'm saying? But like, and that's why I would never sign up for reality TV. But like. Life is so unproblematic. Everything She's just that so contradictive is right now. To do with negative, negativity, drama, all that shit, it's from TV. And to me, it's not real. Like, in my mind, I'm just like, oh, yeah, you know, trolling. Like, this is fun. Do you know how much people, when the Tzatziki situation was happening, is like, oh, um, bring up her... You know, whatever allegations that her sister said, like, bring that up, bring that, call her, whatever. And I, I, every single time somebody said that to me, I ignored it. Because I'm like, that's real. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's her personal, like, real life. I don't ever want to, you know what I'm saying? Piss her off. Yeah. And get into nothing real. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I try to keep it very surface level. I don't want to talk about nobody real, real life. And even when the Julia situation happened, it was brought to my attention. I apologized immediately because that's real. You get what I'm saying? Like, you shouldn't have never said it. You shouldn't have never said it. Okay, let me get out <clears throat> of her real personal life and get just, you know, get back to the surface level trolling. Because I don't hate you. If I hated you, I would be saying every single thing that everybody in the internet has sent to me. I don't say certain things because I'm like, that's real. Even with Natalie, I never spoke about your kids. I never spoke about, you know, your husband or your situation with, you know, to your allegations. Like, I don't speak on that shit because that's real. They don't have nothing to do with reality TV. You know what I'm saying? Reality TV? Oh, yeah, you're a hater. You're a cloud chaser. This, your dad. Absolutely. Because, and nothing that I ever posted about Natalie was not public and for fucking mation. Anytime I spoke about Natalie was from the show, from recapping the show. She said something about me. She called me Ann Moore. She did it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm keeping it very surface level because I don't hate you in real life. You know what I'm saying? TV world, real. TV, real. I understand the difference for me. And that's why I said, again, I can't. This and this is why I said I can't do reality TV anymore, and why I say she ended my reality TV career because oh, it really good. woke me up. Like this right here woke me up to understand that I'm the only one playing here. That's what pain to do, crazy girl. That's what I would have thought about before I get into a fight. First thing I think about is jail. Get what? Uh, -uh. I don't want to go to jail. Uh -uh, I got too much to lose. Mm -mm, I don't want to go to jail. And matter of fact, I'm not going to jail. Hello. Shout out to um Jesus in the chat. I'm not going to jail. That's number one for me. Number two is 
getting caught by the police. And clearly, I don't see, I don't know what's going on. And they up file my ass. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope, 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 nope. No, 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 no. Not about to kill me for no fight. You know what I'm saying? That's number two. Number three, my face. No. Hell no. Who got time to be missing toothless? Who got time to be um get my hair pulled out? You're going to immediately grab my hair because I have dreads. That's another issue. No. I'm not about to play with you bitches pulling my hair. I wouldn't have that problem with Tesseki, but you know what I'm saying? No. And um, then, you know what I'm saying? It's just too much. It's just too much, bro. Fuck all that. I'm glad it ended. I'm she the learned only her lesson. That, that, that's not taking this shit serious. This is how you get humble, baby. It's everybody else is dead serious. Y'all really hate me. Y'all oh, really girl. don't like me. Y'all really, you know what I'm saying? Then she done completely turned into a victim. Nobody hates you. Everybody just want to feed their family, uh, girl. Nobody hates you. You think Tesseki want to go back to being broke? I got the answer. No, okay. You think Natalie going to go back to making $10,000 a year? I got your answer. No. No. Diamond? <laughs> Everybody want to feed their family. They don't give a damn about the ref. They want to hurt me. For, for for me playing around. Oh, All the videos, I'm at the boxing gym. I'm falling and doing, like, that's funny. Like, I'm playing. Like, this is not real to me. You get what I'm saying? Going on live, talking my shit. Like, okay, uh, 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 we talking shit. It's not real. It's entertainment. I went <sighs> into this situation with Tzatziki knowing that this is this would be big for the network. For baddies, for me, for her. Her fans want to see it. My fans want to see it. My, You know what I'm saying? The, the world would like to see this. So I'm going to, like, let's do it. If I could have called her and say, yo, let's do this shit. Turn up, you know what I'm saying? Don't hit me too hard. Let, let's get on a show and be done with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, no be for real. But after this, we're going to be done with it. Click. I would have loved to do that. I would have loved to do that, but that's why I say other people are not as good hearted as me. When I do stuff like that, they try to clown me and be like, oh, she always just trying to do stuff to go viral. Oh, just be real. Oh, just do that. Just you get what I'm saying? And I be keep trying to explain to y'all. I can't be real because the real person in me is a fucking nice ass fucking person. I'm too nice. If I was real, I wouldn't be with nobody. If I was real, I would be on this cast and everybody would be my friend. Because that's how I am in real life. So, certain situations, I have to just do what I have to do. Because when I try to fake it, people try to downplay me for being fake. You get what I'm saying? Like, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing no fake beef over here. All this shit is fake, bro. It's fake. Yes. Oh, girl. All right. This part one, girl. We're going to go ahead and go to part two. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey.